All right, Scott, we're all set for the women's 800 final. And two women in this field have a standard already. Need to be top three. Jessica Smith from North Van in lane number four and Melissa Bishop from Eganville, Ontario in lane number six. Looking for a top three finish here today as we set the lanes. Julia Kawamoto from St. John's, Newfoundland running without funding anymore. Had it cut in 06 despite running her fastest time that year and now accepts public donations to make her way as a national athlete. Leanna McLean of Halifax is 30 as the best this year of 204.35. She's been sponsored by an organic food outfit in Halifax. One of the big contenders is Lemlem Ogbasalasi, born in war-torn Eritrea and defected to Canada during the World Youth Championships at the age of 15 in Sherbrooke with $75 in her pocket. And here she is with the B standard coming in today. Jessica Smith from North Vancouver, ranked number two in the country right now, has the A standard, one of four Canadian women to break the two-minute barrier in the 800 meters. Here's the Canadian record holder, the enduring Deanne Cummins at 38, still running hard from Victoria, B.C., the former South African, won the Canadian championship in 2010. Can she do it again today at 38? In lane number six, Melissa Bishop from Eganville, Ontario, in the Ottawa Lions Track and Field Club, ranked number one in Canada, a best of 159.82. That is the A standard. And joining that elite group of four women who have gone sub two minutes. Was third at the Prefontaine Classic this year in Eugene, Oregon. Great race for her. Karine Bello Bellovo of Montreal is running in lane number eight. She did not start taking track and field seriously until she was 24, just four years ago. And rounding out the field in lane number eight, Rachel Francois from the Edmonton Columbians Track Club out of the University of Victoria was a silver medalist last year at the Canadian Junior Championships. Well, there's a shot of three of the top four women all time in Canada. All three of these women are capable of running under two minutes. And as I mentioned before, between the 400 meter hurdle and the 800 meters, it's a hotly contested debate about which event hurts the most. It's all about pain management over the final 200 meters of this type of race. We'll get a good indication of how fast these women want to run when we get a 200 meter split. Right now, they cross 120 meters and then break for the rail. Agbasalasi, the Eritrean, went out hard during that first 100, 150 meters, and now the pace has settled down in the back straight. Kawamoto out on the rail in the lead right now, and Agbasalasi right on her shoulder. Now Kawamoto back on the rail in behind Agbasalasi. Well, Jessica the... Smith in the blue, sitting in third place, and Deanne Cummins up with the leaders. Well, the nature of this pace has just told us that this is not going to be a fast race. We are not going to see a sub two minute clocking. What we are going to see is anyone's race with a final sprint. Look at this first lap, very pedestrian, 67 seconds through the first lap. Incredibly slow for these women. They usually would run 57 to 58 seconds through the first lap, so this is about 10 seconds slower. So watch, this is not an 800 meter race, it's quickly becoming a 200 meter sprint. We'll see who wants to take it with 300 meters remaining. Melissa Bishop is sitting way back in sixth place in the pack right now as the pace begins to pick up. Agbasalasi with the lead outside of her. Jessica Smith, and now here's a move by Melissa Bishop, a great charge with 200 meters to go as she goes outside and takes the lead. Bishop and Smith need to finish in the top three. Agbasalasi is trying to hold them off. Cummins is back and forth right now as they come down the street. Melissa Bishop, Agbasalasi holding her off. Jessica Smith in third right now. Cummins is challenging her at the finish. Agbasalasi first. Bishop second, and Smith just out dipping Deanne Cummins for third. And Ogba Selassie running from the front from start to finish. An incredible athlete. As I mentioned, defecting from Eritrea with $75 in her pocket, a Bible and the clothes on her back. 
making Canada her home. Well, here we get a shot of the start of the race, and it was very evident early on that this was going to be a slow pace. These women really shut it down 200 meters into it, but this is where the race began. 180 meters remaining, a bold move by Melissa Bishop to try and take charge of this race, but Agba Selassie held her off, didn't let her get to the inside rail, forced her to the outside. Deanne Cummins also making a late charge at this point, but a strong, strong finish to hold off these sub two minute 800 meter runners Agba Selassie raises her hand in victory a tremendous effort over the final 100 meters to hold off the late charges of both Jessica Smith and Melissa Bishop and Jessica Smith that top three that she needed was in the balance in the final few strides as the great veteran the record holder in Canada Deanne Cummins challenged her down the straight but the day belongs to Lem Lem Agba Selassie who now makes Victoria her home. She's the Canadian champion. Right now, let's go down to Scott. She's standing by with Melissa Bishop, who's on her way to the London Games. Yes, Mark, on her way to the London Games and a, a late charge in that race uh, to get in there at the wire. Just couldn't get the Canadian Championship, uh, but you did what you needed to do. Exactly. That's all I came here to do. Top three and on my way to London. And your prospects there. I mean, theme, uh, things seem to be building. Yes, they do. I hope uh, we'll just get in there and go with the flow and just race. Have fun. All right. Have fun at the Olympic Games. We'll see you there. Thanks very much. Melissa Bishop on her way to London. Mark, back to you. Thank you, Scott. The men are...